For Mr. Blair, UN weapons inspectors were the key to getting rid of Saddam. They had packed their bags in Iraq in 1998 after the dictator had ceased meaningful cooperation. The prime minister and the president had decided to get them back by means of a new disarmament resolution. We now know that in Washington in March 2002, there had been a discussion at the British Embassy on how sending back the inspectors might be used to trigger an invasion. The ambassador, Sir Christopher Mayer, sent an account of that discussion back to London. It has since leaked out. We backed regime change, but the plan had to be clever. And failure was not an option. This clever plan involved getting the UN Security Council to pass a tough new disarmament resolution. The US could go it alone if it wanted, but if it wanted to act with partners, there had to be strategy for building support for military action. I then went through the need to wrong foot Saddam on the inspectors. I then went through the need to wrong foot Saddam on the inspectors. Um, just a few opening remarks. The purpose of this session um, is to examine developments in United States policy towards Iraq between 2001 and 2003 and the UK's response. A single occasion where I departed from a very clear view that, that I that's was expressed. precisely why the that, question that, arises. That, 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 um, that, 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 since in, you haven't seen those documents, perhaps I can ask well, you about... Well, I just make this point? I mean, you know, and the view I've expressed publicly is the same as the views I expressed privately, um, that regime change was, was not a good idea for us to pursue and in, as, as an objective, and in any event, uh, it was palpably uh, illegal, so it was not an option. Um, and you will uh, be aware from documents which have been declassified, and quite a number which have not, uh, that I made that point in quite categorical terms to the Prime Minister on more than one occasion. Was to say to the Americans, look, if you, can, if you want to do regime change, and if this is going to require military action, you guys are powerful enough to do it all on your own. You can do it on your own. You've got the, you've got the power to do it. But if you're going to do this, and you want your friends and partners to join you, um, far better than that you should do it inside an alliance, uh, preferably taking the UN route. And that, I think, was the single most important message which was delivered to the US administration at that time. 